Hello, my name is Melody Jenkins, and I'm the director of the Moultrie Coughlin County Library and the Ellen Payne Odom Genealogy Library. Several years ago, our library began a project to honor Coughlin County residents who were veterans of military service to our country. It has grown from a few hundred listings to over 10,000. As part of that collection of materials, each year during our Veterans Day observance, we have interviewed veterans to learn more about their experiences while they were on active duty. These interviews have been preserved on CDs and are archived at the Odom Library and at the Museum of Coughlin County History. This year, our salute to veterans is taking a slightly different turn. Realizing that those who stayed on the home front during World War II made many sacrifices also, we will be listening today to a conversation between four ladies who will recount what everyday life was like in Moultrie, Georgia during the war. These ladies are Mrs. Ginger Horkin, Mrs. Myrtle Lofton, Mrs. Elois Matthews, and Mrs. Ann Sherman. So let's start at the beginning. Ladies, where were you on December 7, 1941? I remember very well where I was on Sunday, December the 7th, 1941. I was a high school student at the time, and of course it was Sunday afternoon, and my father said he was going to drive down below Berlin to the farm, and would I like to ride along? So my sister and I rode along with him, and we were at the farm when someone came along and told us that Pearl Harbor had been bombed. And we leaped in the car and immediately drove back and went in and turned on the radio, which was a Philco, stood up on legs, had a cabinet, and a little dial about that wide. And there were constant bulletins coming over. And we uh, stayed there all afternoon. And someone went downtown later, I guess in the early evening, and there were newsboys around the square selling the Moultrie Observer. And the Moultrie Observer did not publish on Sunday. And what they had done was take the Saturday paper and put a new front page on it. And it said, Sunday night, December the 7th, 1941, and it cost a nickel. <laughs> 